Welcome to the SRC Arena and Events Center. Please note, this is a no-smoking facility. Smoking is prohibited on the premises. In the event of a fire or other emergency, please use the emergency exits located on all levels at each end of the building, identified with red exit signs above the doors. Again, we welcome you to the SRC Arena and Events Center.
I will never pass for a perfect bride or a perfect daughter. Can it be? I'm not meant to play this part. Now I see that if I were truly to be myself, I would break my family's heart. At the edge of the water Long as I can remember Never really knowing why I wish I could be the perfect daughter But I come back to the water No matter how hard I try Every turn I take Every trail I track Every path I make Every road leads back to the place I know where I cannot go, where I long to be. See the line as the sky meets the sea, it calls me. And no one knows how far it goes. If the wind in my sail on the sea stays behind me, one day I'll know. If I go, there's just no telling how far I'll go. Everybody on the silent seems so happy on the silent. Everything is by design. I know everybody on the silent has a role on the silent. So maybe I can roll with mine. I can lead with pride. I can make us strong. I'll be satisfied if I play along. But the voice inside sings a different song. What is wrong with It shines on the sea, it's blinding And no one knows how deep it goes And it seems like it's calling out to me So come find me, one day I'll know What's beyond that line, will I cross that line? See the line as it shines on the sea I 
Welcome to the SRC Arena and Events Center. Please note, this is a no-smoking facility. Smoking is prohibited on the premises. In the event of a fire or other emergency, please use the emergency exits located on all levels at each end of the building, identified with red exit signs above the doors. Again, we welcome you to the SRC Arena and Events Center.
Good evening. Please remain standing and join in as we are led in the Pledge of Allegiance by those graduates who will be entering the Armed Forces and Military Academies, which will be followed by our senior choir singing our national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As we come together this evening to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2022, we also remember those who are not with us this evening, whose presence has helped shape us and who has been a significant part of our lives, especially when we reach important milestones such as this. It's important to remember all of those who have had a positive impact on who we have become. Please join me in a moment, a brief moment of silence for those individuals. Thank you. As the superintendent of the Fayetteville Manlius Central School District, I am pleased to welcome the families and guests to our commencement ceremony. We have come together tonight to honor the members of the Fayetteville Manlius High School Class of 2022 and to celebrate their successful completion of the course of study prescribed by the State of New York for a high school diploma. They are ready to start the next chapter of their lives so let us begin. It is my distinct pleasure to invite the president of the class of 2022, Hannah Feigl, to the podium to address her classmates.
Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and most importantly, the Fayetteville Manlius Class of 2022. I would first like to take a moment to thank everyone who is here tonight for your tremendous amount of support and love that you have given all of us in our lives. This ceremony would not have been possible without you, and we are so grateful to be here. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Hannah Feigl, and I'm your Fayetteville Manlius Class President. It is my honor to stand before you and to represent this incredible group of seniors who I have the privilege of calling my classmates and my friends. <clears throat> now, I'm going to be honest. When I was told months ago that I needed to have a speech prepared for graduation, I believed I had all the time in the world. It seemed like an event so far out, in the distant future, that all the seniors combined were just trying to reach. This pivotal moment, the 17th of June. Yet, here I was, walking into different classes throughout my day, and classmates would look at me and say, hey, is that speech done? Or how's the speech coming along? And the only thing I could do was laugh and say, well, it's not done, as it was the second week of June and I was finally feeling the pressure. However, with that pressure of trying to write the best speech and the most honorable one, came so much kindness and words of encouragement from the seniors sitting in front of you tonight. They supported me, told me it was going to be perfect, and that they were excited to finally be walking across the stage like thousands of others before us have. This year began with the first of many lasts, the first day of senior year, which ultimately became the last first day of high school any of us would experience, to the first test we all took in the fall, which would hopefully be the last first test, depending on if you passed, since we were back to pen and paper style instead of the online ones. But we did it all. We survived. From the ups and downs of these four years, we held our heads high, we embraced our struggles, and we allowed ourselves to be vulnerable with one another. And at some points, we were exhausted, either from having too much to do all at once or from the countless amount of hours spent watching TikToks, but that's a discussion for another night. We shared our stories in person, on Google Meets, and even through social media platforms. We showed each other who we really are and how much we care for one another, because it didn't matter what we did or accomplished throughout the days we spent together in the building. What mattered was how we took care of one another inside and outside of the halls of our school. We recognized each other's talents and not only appreciated them, but thrived off of them to bring more joy in our everyday lives. From the editing and making of videos, to the murals painted in our school, to the poems and stories that were written for other students to hear, and to the packed student section at sporting events. These allowed us, for groups of individuals, to come together so we could enjoy these moments and have these memories. These moments allowed us to be kids. We shared our experience by doing the things we loved and by being with the people we love. In these last couple of weeks of high school, we began reminiscing on all the times we have shared and spent together. How did we go from kindergartners taking the bus for the first time to 17 and 18 year olds fighting to be the first out of the student parking lot? We went from the elementary school wax museum to the middle school field days to the first day of our freshman year, the pie eating contest we had at our senior kickoff, 
ball at the on center, to then finally, the last day of school, where we watched a video of all the years in between, and we saw each other's future plans. We are leaving our mark all throughout FM High School, one that I hope younger kids see, so they know how spectacular our grade really was. And to my fellow seniors, you are enough. Everything you have done that has gotten you to this point in your life matters. Your journey will not look like anyone else's, and you should celebrate that. We all should. Whether it was taking a ridiculous amount of honors or AP classes, being a three-sport athlete, participating in clubs after school, babysitting, working a job, doing your homework at night, or even just showing up day after day, all of that was significant and made you the person you are who fits so perfectly in our community, our community of the Fayetteville Manliest Class of 2022. We are now saying goodbye to the place that we have spent the majority of our time these last four years. We are saying goodbye to the underclassmen who will hopefully carry on our legacy, to our teachers who have watched us grow, who we love so much and will miss so dearly. We are saying goodbye to the place that cared for us and kept us safe, a place that is excited and ready to see what we are going to do next the place that allowed our little minds to grow into the people we are today. So, whatever you choose to do, wherever you go, you will make a difference in the world. Your actions and your words will impact others and they will see the strength and the courage I see in each and every one of you. And welcome, welcome to the next chapter of your life, the pages beyond high school, where your new journey begins. Enjoy every next step. Go out there and do big things. Class of 2022. Thank you, Hannah. Each year, the top academic student in the graduating class has the honor of addressing their classmates during the graduation ceremony. To that end, I am pleased to invite Andrew on to the podium to address his class. Before I begin my speech, I'd like to recognize the people we all owe a great deal of gratitude towards. First off, on behalf of the FM Class of 2022, I'd like to thank the wonderful faculty and staff of FM. Your care for us and your drive to help us succeed do not go unnoticed. We will cherish the meaningful relationships that you built with us through the years that have helped shape us all into who we are today. We're also eternally grateful that you've equipped us to face the real world with tools like how to factor polynomials and how to read 16th century Shakespeare. I'm sure it'll go a long way in helping me find a job. <laughs> Second, I'd like to thank all of the parents, guardians, families, and friends who have supported and helped us all be here today. Our shared memories will last a lifetime and your influence will continue to make us strive to be better people. To my family, you guys have all been a great inspiration to me, and I cannot thank you enough for your everlasting encouragement and love. In fact, my grandma flew out all the way from halfway across the world to hear me give this speech, even though it's in English, which she doesn't understand. But I, I hope she likes it anyway. Also, to my brother Anthony, thanks for being the person to make me do what excites, as you like to say. Sometimes I need someone to tell me, if you do it, I'll do it. Now, has that mentality of doing something for the sole purpose of watching you do something equally dumb landed us in some hot water? Sure, but stupid situations are always more fun to get out of when you have someone to do it with you. Speaking of which, I'd also like to give a big thank you to the boys.
In particular, a shout out to the man, the myth, the legend, Edward Elliott, whom I've had the pleasure, whom I've had the pleasure of sharing six periods with every single day. But Eddie, if this kind of overlap ever happens again, I'd like to you know that I can do without you constantly kicking my chair during class. So when Dr. Kilmer asked me with that big grin of his, how's that speech coming at awards night? I told him, it's going. I lied. I had, in fact, not started. To be honest, I seriously considered ad-libbing this entire speech because I just couldn't think of how to start it. Honoring our incredible class that has succeeded in the face of such an unusual high school career was not the, something I thought I could sum up in a speech of any length or with any quote that you've seen on a classroom poster. So instead, I'll start by congratulating all of you on your achievements and for being here today. We've all been living through a major historical event, and although it's been tiresome and challenging with every obstacle from lockdown to quarantine, I figure, if nothing else, at least we'll be immortalized in a few pages of the next generation of history textbooks. But before we look to the future, I'd like to ramble a little bit about the past four years that we spent together. We start at freshman year. I'm sure many of you remember the first day we came into the great halls of FM High School on Link Crew Day. I personally most vividly remember when Dr. Kilmer violated Title 18, Chapter 17 of the US Code concerning crimes related to coins and currency, when he ripped apart a dollar bill, demonstrating a metaphor for wasted time or something like that. <laughs> Several instances of walking into the wrong classroom and complaining about the length of the walk from house one to house two later, we were thrown into sophomore year before many of us had even processed what the heck Mrs. Gross meant by the phrase paradoxical hegemony. Prior to when the world actually ended on Friday the 13th of our sophomore year, we had been stuck in the awkward position between still adjusting to high school and beginning to worry about college and our next steps after high school. After lockdown, though, school came to consist increasingly of finding excuses for why your camera was not turned on. Obviously, the Wi-Fi was bad. And panicking when you realized that you weren't muted in the class Google Meet. As days melded together and time seemed to pass at an unknown rate, somewhere in the mix, we became juniors. I still wonder sometimes if sophomore year ever really ended. Junior year, with its hybrid learning model, certainly felt strange. We walked the blurred line between in-person and virtual learning while undergoing perhaps the most academically difficult year in all of high school. Despite that, somehow sleeping in became a fairly regular occurrence, and with Wednesdays off, I began to wonder how I ever managed to go to school for five days straight. Online classes felt empty without instances of holding in laughs while the teacher was lecturing or hearing Rishi make an offhand comment from across the room in chemistry. Amidst the foggy realization that the college application and admission process was just around the corner, we left junior year feeling as if we had only had half a year of school. And I'm sure no one wants to remember what writing college apps and waiting for decisions was like, so we'll skip that part of senior year to the moment we found out what we were going to do after high school. We all felt a sense of great relief and achievement. All of the extracurriculars we had worked so hard for and the grades that we had earned were finally paying off in the form of a ticket to somewhere we could chase our passions with greater freedom. And it was also nice because the greatest difficulty in school went from balancing schoolwork with deciding what to do after graduation to simply trying to get out of Mr. McGuigan's super econ class on time and figuring out how to convincingly forge a library pass for study hall. We spent the rest of the year fighting off senioritis, and let's be honest, some of us lost that fight. And, well, we know who we are. But we've survived, and now you guys are all here listening to me delay your graduation. But before I leave this stage, I'd like to leave you all with an analogy. I'll make it a golf one, because with the way time seems to be flying by, we'll be in retirement before we know it. And we all know what retired old people like to do in their abundance of free time. So when you play golf, you're here and your goal is over there. You have to think carefully about how you're going to play because you're not only separated from your goal by distance, but also by trees and water and hills. 
Sometimes you can't even see the flag marking the hole. But you can't stop halfway through a hole. No matter how you feel about it, you have to line up for your shot as best as you can and swing at one time or another. Sometimes you're confident, and other times you're confident that you've screwed up. But here's the funny thing about golf. Regardless of how well you've been doing, every time you line up for a shot and tell yourself to not hit it into the woods, you'll hit that ball into the woods. And believe me, I know as I've done this more times than I care to admit, but I'm sure my teammates Nick Tresco and Meg Lorraine's brother Charlie would be more than happy to tell you. So after several such instances, I got sick of it and started to give it some thought. Why did I keep hitting the one shot I didn't want to hit? And how could I hit the shot I wanted? In time, I found that it was really nothing strange that I kept hitting it into the woods. Why? Because I was focusing on the trees, not the fairway. I was focusing on the worst possible place I could end up instead of where I wanted to be. If you focus on the obstacles, all you will see are the obstacles. It's a matter of perspective. And the course life will take you through is far from a straight shot. You'll have to hit over ponds that are so murky you can't see the bottom of them. And you'll have to play through narrow straits surrounded by trees. But through it all, things are far simpler if you keep your eyes on where you want to go. Even if you can't see the flag marking your goal, follow your fairway and pursue your path with both vigor and dedication. Nike got it right. Just do it. And when you do, inevitably end up hitting a bad shot. The only shot that matters is the one you hit next. The hole doesn't move in golf just because you hit it into the woods, as much as you wish it might. And in the same way, you don't have to change your goals just because you think you failed somewhere along the way. And finally, most importantly, throughout the pursuit of your goals, enjoy the view and golf with friends. You know, friends who tease you when you hit the ball into the woods, but also help you look for your ball when you're all done laughing. So with that, thank you, and I wish you all a great summer and the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. And uh, for those of you taking the physics regents in just a few days, have fun and I'll see you there. Nicely done, Andrew. This evening's musical selection is entitled Omnia Soul and will be performed by members of our senior choir.
Well done. It is at this point in the ceremony that FM High School principal, Dr. Raymond Kilmer, would introduce me to introduce the faculty commencement speaker. Dr. Kilmer is unable to be here this evening, but I think it would be most appropriate to acknowledge him at this time. So if I could indulge the class of 2022 in giving a standing ovation for Dr. Kilmer. Thank you. He told me his two favorite times of the year are link crew and commencement. And so certainly serving as his understudy for this most important occasion is humbling. So on behalf of the Board of Education, the entire school administration and faculty and staff of the Fayetteville Manlius Central School District, I congratulate all of our graduates on a job well done. Each and every year, it is my pleasure as a superintendent of schools to impart some profound advice and sage wisdom to our graduates before I have the distinct honor of introducing the faculty speaker for the commencement address. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, it would be very easy for me to craft my remarks to applaud your tenacity, adaptability, and perseverance in navigating more than two years of disruption, all while juggling the expectations of the remote, hybrid, and in-person learning models. Needless to say, the pandemic brought forth considerable challenges and obstacles that all of you had to overcome in order to reach today's finish line. You should be most proud of all that you've accomplished. In spite of today's hectic pace of life, be sure to take time to thank your family, friends, and mentors for their support. As you graduate today, I ask you to be mindful and to thank your family members for their encouragement over the years, but especially for their assistance during the past couple of years. Be sure you're to show your sincere appreciation to a teacher, an administrator, or a coach who helped you in less than ideal conditions. Don't be bashful about extending your gratitude to anyone who helped you along the way. Even as you look to the future, all I ask is that you look in the rearview mirror and take time to show your gratitude to those you love. I encourage you to continue to think and dream about all the possibilities life has to offer. While the pandemic may have caused some of us to focus on the negative, I know that many others have been introspective and grateful for all that they have in life. Even though you could choose to focus on all that you lost as a result of the pandemic, I implore you to celebrate and be thankful for all that you have gained from your experiences here at Fayetteville Manlius. With that said, it's now my distinct honor and privilege to introduce our keynote speaker. Christine Chrissy Monaco, a high school Spanish teacher, is a hornet through and through. Not only is Fayetteville Manlius her chosen school as an employer, but she's also an alum from the class of 2003. At FM, she discovered her love of language and culture in Latin class, inspiring her to pursue a career in Spanish. After graduating from FM, Chrissy went on to Siena College to earn her Bachelor's of Arts degree to become a Spanish teacher. After Siena, she began her teaching career here in her hometown in the fall of 2007. Along the way, she earned a master's degree from SUNY Cortland and achieved national board certification in 2017. Chrissy is well known for her wit and sense of humor, accompanied by her hard work. Her dynamic spirit brings an enthusiasm and creativity to lessons including paper mache spirit animals for Spanish Five and the Thanksgiving plate projects for Spanish One, among many others. During the COVID pandemic, she endeavored to spread joy in her students' lives by attracting a devout TikTok fandom. And she endeavored to keep her colleagues on their toes 
by taking pranks farther than most would dare to go. If you're in doubt, just ask Ms. Breed if she knows the location of her chicken. I made the mistake of asking for additional information about the ongoing chicken caper, and I'm now in receipt of incriminating photographic evidence from Ms. Sarah Woodward Jones. Unfortunately, I'm convinced by our school information resource officers that they would conclude that the possession of this photographic evidence makes me an accomplice as far as Ms. Breed is concerned. Without a doubt, Chrissy has been supportive of the class of 2022 and has helped to chaperone their senior ball. She is a distinguished educa educator, a valued member of the faculty, and a dedicated colleague. As graduates, you are aware that she encouraged you to be critical thinkers, to collaborate with others, and to be effective communicators, to be creative problem solvers, and most importantly, to be lifelong learners. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Ms. Christine Monaco to deliver this year's commencement address. And just like that, it's the last time I get to say to you, hola, classe. When I first learned that I was in the running for graduation speaker this year, I was honored and humbled. But when I say honored and humbled, I mostly mean in that it's an honor just to be nominated sort of way. So when Hannah told me that I was it, I had two reactions. Number one was to order this graduation cap hair clip off of Amazon. And number two, panic. What in the world can I possibly say to all of you that will make a difference? This is it, Classe. The last lesson I get to teach the class of 2022 before you switch your tassels over and walk out of here into that great big world. It has to be good. As I was thinking it over, class A, I realized any wisdom that I have to share, I have gained slowly over my 37 years of life and mostly from making many, many mistakes. Most wisdom is gained in hindsight, not taught proactively. Sorry to tell you, but you're going to have to make your own mistakes along the way. And you will, Class A. Brace yourself. It's part of the journey. So instead of any life-altering wisdom, Class A, I will leave you with a suggestion. Learn to embrace change. As you sit here tonight, your future awaits you, and with it, Plans, so many plans. Plans for the summer and for next year, a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, who knows? We all have plans. But hear me say this, your plans will change. Maybe you will change them. Maybe an event in your life will force them to be changed. Maybe other people will change them for you. There's really no way of knowing. So my suggestion for you is start learning to embrace it. Now, when I say change, class A, it could be anything. It could be a last minute roommate switch before you get to college. It could be earning a lower GPA than you had planned for. It could be realizing a semester in to your freshman year at the college you'd always dreamed of going to that you want to transfer. It could be moving away or moving back home, changing majors, career paths, jobs. It could be ending relationships or starting relationships. No matter what the change, no matter how it comes about, you're going to need to know 
how to face it, roll with it, grow from it, and embrace it. Now, part of me is tempted to just mic drop and walk off stage right now. However, I suppose as a teacher, I do owe you a few pointers for how to achieve this. It's still not wisdom, class A. Let's call it instead a guide. Now, nobody steal this title in case I settle into writing it as a book in retirement someday. It'll be called, So You Want to Learn to Embrace Change. I'll give you the spark notes. Before you embrace change, you might be ashamed of it. Plans changing can feel a lot like failing, falling short, not being good enough. You might feel embarrassed, but class A, that's okay. That's normal. You'll get through it. Before you embrace change, you might be sad about it. The disappointment might feel big enough to swallow you up. You might grieve the loss of your plan, maybe even for a long time. But class A, that's okay. That's normal. You'll get through it. Before you embrace change, you might be scared of it. It feels like walking on unsteady ground. The path you had envisioned for yourself giving way underneath you. And is there a safety net? But class A, that's okay. That's normal. You'll get through it. Before you embrace change, you might feel uncomfortable with it. It might be a pit in your stomach. Just the haunting thought of it might make you uneasy and follow you around nagging at your confidence. But class A, that's okay. That's normal. You'll get through it. And before you embrace change, you might be angry with it. You might be frustrated that all the time you put into planning and envisioning feels like it was for nothing. How could this happen to you? It can be infuriating. But class A, that's okay. That's normal. You will get through it. So you want to learn to embrace change, class A? Be ashamed, be sad, be scared, be uncomfortable, be angry. However the change makes you feel, feel it. That's processing. That's all normal. It's not fun. It doesn't feel good. But feel it. It is the most crucial step in learning to embrace change. You can try to run from it, hide from it, avoid it as long as possible, even cover it up with other things. But class A, those feelings will still be there, waiting for you to process them. How do I know this? Well, class A, my parents are here tonight. Hi, mom and dad. And I'll spare you, yes, thank you. <laughs> I'll spare you my life story, but if you ask them, they'll tell you. They have seen my plans change time and time again. They have seen me feel ashamed, sad, scared, uncomfortable, angry, all of it. They've seen me try to hide from those feelings and they've seen them all blow up in my face. They had a front row seat for all of it. And you know what they would tell you? The same thing that I will tell you right now. It has all been worth it. Every changed plan, every difficult feeling, every hard time, because they have led me here to be this person, to get to be in your lives, and to share this precious moment with you, Class A. So you want to learn to embrace change? Find your people and lean on them. It doesn't even have to be people, plural. Maybe it's a person, your person, the person that really sees you, 
that asks how you are and waits to hear the answer. The person who proves to you that they will show up for you time and time again, that they will listen, that they will say the hard, honest things from a place of concern and love. A person who accepts you as you are, however you are. Find them. Ask them for help, as difficult as that may be. Give them access to the vulnerable things you are feeling. Let them remind you, when you don't have the strength to remind yourself, that better days will come, that what you're going through is normal, and that you will be okay. And classe, I promise you this, no matter how difficult the change, no matter how big the feelings, no matter how long the processing takes, it will be worth it. Because when you get through to the other side of all of that, it's beautiful. You're different. You're stronger. You're more resilient. You've grown. You've gone places and done things that you never thought you'd be capable of. You will be so proud of yourself. You'll see why it's worth embracing. You know, Class A, we, your teachers, are facing a big change tonight, too. You are leaving us. And we feel so excited for you, but sad, too. It is such a gift to know you, to really see you, Class A, and such a privilege to be allowed to be part of your lives, if only for this brief time. So just remember, Class A, as you embark on this journey of embracing change, we'll still be here for you. We'll always be here for you. We love you and we believe in you. Congratulations, class of 2022. Well done, Chrissy. And now, it is time for the diploma ceremony. Our assistant principals, Ms. Karen Laparulo, Mr. Patrick McNamara, and Ms. Stephanie Rice. Our director of counseling, Ms. Heidi Green. Our athletic director, Mr. Scott Sugar. English teacher, Mrs. D. Brennan who is also your senior class advisor, and Board of Education members, President Marissa Mims, Vice President Sharon Lindars, Trustees Ms. Rebecca Cohen, Ms. Kelly Fumarola, Mr. Daniel Seidberg, and Ms. Daryl Fitch Wheeler will all be assisting in the presentation of diplomas this evening. At this time, I would like to ask the students in Section A to come forward. Elizabeth Lee Abair. Caitlin Elizabeth Abel. Orialua Heritage Appalade.
Ava Abuzezi. Raffle Abagush. James Francis Adonisio. Apollo Adler. Rishi Reddy Aledi. Parisa Jamal. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Ahmed. Andrew Jiho An. Ayat Abul Dabrahman Aboom. Maya Aisha Ali. Amelia Jane Amak. Chase Amico. Galia Karen Amor. Landon Richard Anderson. Paige Marie Anelli. Ava Grace Angelo. Emma Antoinette Angadi. Noel Catherine Anthes. Mary Adeline Anschel. Gerald Reed Armatus. Hannah Grace Avila. Elizabeth Ann Bonsbach. Natalie Patricia Barber. Scarlett Elizabeth Barone Phillips. Malik Xavier Dominic Barr. Colton Donovan Baum. Martha Belay. Eliel Bertil. Joshua Marcel Bertrand. Gracie Jane Bishop. Tyler Christopher Black. Alexa Rockwell Bolton. Fergus Joseph Roach Brady. Grace O'Sullivan Brady. Charles Benjamin Brooks. Gulliver Finn Brower. Samantha Louise Buckles. Jillian M. Bulger. Karen Olivia Burgess. Michael Charles Bergen. Quanier Stephen Butler. Ava Champa Chavez Bybee. Alina Zhao Cabrera. Rachel Catherine Cahill. Maya Renee Kappen. John Samuel Carjuello. Jason Edward Carter. Valerie Anna Casalia. Casalia, I'm sorry. Valerie Anna Casalia. Talia Wise Cavallini. Camilla Beatriz Cespedes Viamontes. Madison Ann Chamberlain. Clay Richard Chandler. Kayana Marie Cheek. Amelia Grace Chin. Anthony Joseph Cicerello. 
Kendall Eve Clark. Lauren Azure Clark. Abigail Catherine Coates. Noah Michael Coelho. Louis Anthony Coleandro. Elena Maria Komen. Megan Marie Conway. Jesse Destin Coolhart. Daquan, Daquan Rondil Crawford Jr. Michael Anthony Crescenti Jr. Michael Scott Cruz. Ane Nimish Dalal. Christopher Gallagher Dame. Ryan Jolie Doxa. Luke Dominic Davidson. Kareem Deb. Sydney Clarissa Del Monte. Alex David Depew. Rowan Elizabeth Deshays. Ronick Demon. Tanner Riley De Christina. Sarah Elise Dingle. Brandon Disk. Jacob Paul Dobricki. Jennifer Shingson Dong. Grace Carol Dugan. Jaden Dougal. Timothy Duke. Sam Dunn. Edward Miriam Elliott. Megan Tate Elliott. Patrick Joseph Emery. Isaac Avant Evans. Tochi Treasure AZ Digwu. Hannah Mary Feigl. Antonio Michael Fernandez Cosgrove. David Basil Fernando. Grayson Hollis Fesco. Riley J. Fishkin. Matthew Lawrence Fitz. Shane Bohannon Fleming. William Andrew Forbes. Cassidy Virginia Ford. Theodora Flavia Fremap. Ryan Joseph Fryer. Cooper Conrad Gabersack. Nathan Elliott Gardner. Olivia Marie Garofalo. Lucas Stephen Everly Gascon. Jake Terrence Gollin. Hannaby Geiger. Emma Louise Gillette. 
Maxwell James Gentry. John Laniel Jafrida. Connor Luke Gleesman. Alexa Gabrielle Glennie. Grace Ann Gorsica. Patrick Thomas Grady. Ryan Gifford Grady. Jennifer Rose Granger. Laurel San Gabriel Grant. Sophia Luisa Grasso. Paige McKellum Graves. Markel Jermar Green. Amanda Elizabeth Grosbeck. Bethany Grace Hall. Elrose Charlotte Hanlon. Naya Rain Hansen. Greta Rains Hansen Schwabel. Joseph Anthony Hathorn. Alani Simone Henderson. Endo Herrera Heyman. Christopher C. Holcraft. Trevor Christopher Hobler. James Thomas Honer. Charles Marcus Hoffman. Mary Evelyn Holder. Patrick Joseph Hollister. <laughs> Tina Huang. <laughs> Natalie Bella Hugo. <laughs> Cassidy Maria Hersha Pitt. <laughs> Gwyneth Adele Isles. Aliyah Pauline Iosilovich. Angela Iskander. Avery Lynn James. Catherine Gia. Brennan Elizabeth Jolly. Mackenzie Grace Kalin. Jenna Camel. Jack Corey Karanik. Emma Riley Kester. Jackson Andrew Cattell. Serena Catherine Khalife. Angela Yunsaw Kim. Jessica Ashley Kinich. Alexis Tony Koshnicharska. Jack Michael Kozlowski. Vincent Simon Crisman. Madeline Marie Kruger. Trevor Ryan Kruken.
Ryan Dale Lane. Aaron Lee. Patrick Thomas Lettery. Andrew Lee. Andrew Ong Lee. Zijun Lee. Joshua Lim. Samuel Edward Limbert. Cecilia Lobo. Margaret Madeline Lorraine. Palin Liu. Latisha Nawanga Lubega. Bianca Christine Lucas. Deborah Lynn Lucchetti. Ethan James Luxinger. Summer Patricia Lugert. Mary Jane Louise. Emma Rose Luttrell. Annika Leda Madiso. Sunny Mangek. Sebastian Daniel Manguel Justiniano. Brendan Elward Mann. Caden Sterling Mann. Anna Alexandra Monta. Robert James Mason. Jackson David Harper Matthews. Abigail Catherine McGuire. Rachel Elaine McKean. Maya Millicent McKenzie. Audrey Ruth McLean. Grace Ann Mahar. William Gordon Means. Hirut Catherine Miller. Thomas Cole Minichillo. Jace Law Miranda. Braden Joseph Moore. Peter Robert Moroz. Noah Michael Morris. Lake William Morrissey. John Douglas Moses. Colin James Mott. Keelan Joe Murphy. Cameron Michael Murphy. Amanda Catherine Myers. Sanskar Narang. Jackson Bailey Nash. Brandon Richard Newton. Ahn Quinn Yo. Fiona Karen O'Brien. Luke James O'Connor. Rachel Lauren O'Connor. Jay Ori. Sean Ferris O'Malley. Destiny Thelma Ostrove. 
Michael Joseph Oyong. Audra Annette Owens. Noah Scott Osiani. Joel Edward Pack. Cadence Delaney Valentina Katerina Panol. Jordan Taylor Parker. Om Kalpesh Patel. Daniel Robert Patrick. Velton Gregory Perry. Greta Francoise Pearson. Margaret J. Pearson. Nora Emily Pipes. Aiden Meyer Pollock. Elia N. Poncha. Julio D. Poncha. Jason Porter. Jacob Michael Porzuzic. Ethan Thomas Powell. Ainsley Samantha Poots. Carson Anthony Matthew Polano. Stephanie Quattropani. Paige Virginia Ranieri. Elizabeth Grace Reed. Megan Elliot Reed Rose. Lucas Gabriel Ryder. Brennan Hunter Rettig. Rebecca Emily Retz. Alexandra Louise Richmond. Luke Richter. Avery Kathleen Ritter. Katrina Roman. Samantha Page Romano. Evan Michael Roos. Sean Robert Roos. Aiden Michael Roser. Natalie Grace Roswick. Zoe May Russo. Sarah Emily Ryan. Beza Noor Sahin. Andrea Ann Marie Saya. Annika Rose Sajnog. Haley Jordan Sanders. Miriam Kathleen Sanzon. Anthony Nicholas Saville. Saif Shafi Sayed. Laura Grace Galzetti. Simon Christopher Shep. Therese Gabrielle Schmidt. William John Siemens. Hallie Rebecca Seidberg. Benjamin Bernard Sharples. Paolo Luigi Shaw. Jonathan Michael Shiroff. Taha Siddiqui. Milo K. Sinclair. K. 
Catherine Amber Smith. Nicole Catherine Smith. Owen Dennis Snyder. Thomas James Sokolovic. John Paul Summers. Jacob William Spicer. Samuel Jameson Spignardo. Tara Aaron Steck. Melanie Grace Steigerwald. Joseph Michael Stewart. Jonas Benjamin Stinziano. Kyle Anthony Sykes. Our team, Tajali. Bridget Emily Teakin. Julia Lorette Tedeschi. Joshua Martin Terillion. Brooke Ray Tester. Luke John Tito. Ella Josephine Theo Harris. Riley N. Thornton. Nicholas Vincent Tresco. Ren Lorraine Yuzatinsky. Andrew Joseph Valletta. Madeline Grace Van Bramer. Emma Teresa Vandewater. Lucia Velasquez. Maya Velasquez. Dylan Thomas Venditti. Charles Xavier Wallace. Elizabeth Ann Walters. Zia Wang. Jeanette Albertina Ward. Kai Jeffrey Warner. Riley Joseph Warren Nichols. Ryan Foster Welling. Erica Michelle Westfall. Ethan Cook Wicks. Walker Kenneth Williams. Anna Catherine Wilson. Nora Elizabeth Wilson. Isaac Keenan Wood. Davin Sean Woolridge. Cameron Joseph Warden. Dana Zhao. Miranda Zung.
I've asked Board of Education President Marissa Joy Mims to join me. At this time, I'd like to call Senior Class President Hannah Feigl to return to the front of the stage to lead the class in the switching of the tassel. Class President, will you do the honors? to be graduates of Fayetteville Manlius High School. Congratulations. To conclude our ceremony, students, if you will please rise as we join together in singing our alma mater, the words of which are printed on the back of your program. President Mims and I will start. <laughs> Guarded by the old oak tree. On behalf of the entire governance team, I'd like to thank you for attending our 2022 commencement ceremony. Congratulations to our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our class of 2022.